Right, let's go down to that ad campaign the government's Thanks, launched Pat. over the weekend. Supposedly, uh, to ready you for the voice referendum later this year, we're being told sometime in October, not yet announced. It's billed as a civics campaign, right? So it's supposed to be balanced and neutral. It's anything, anything but. A cursory look at the website, as I showed you at the top of the show, it's clear it's not about information. There's quotes like this, that the voice will be empowering, community-led, inclusive, respectful, culturally informed. This is a push by campaigning, campaigners using your money. Joining me now, LNP Senator for Queensland, James McGrath, who, before he arrived in Canberra, was a long-time party campaigner. So he's a bit of an expert when we get to this uh, sort of analysis. James, you've had a good look as I have. You've seen the ads, you've heard the ads, you've seen that website as well. This is about $10 million of taxpayers' Monday money. Is it a civics campaign? Or is it a de facto yes campaign? It's not a civics campaign. It's not even a de facto campaign for, for the yes side. It is a campaign for the yes side funded by the taxpayers. When I saw that ad, I thought, this is an ad for the yes side. There's nothing neutral or, or about it. It's not about educating people. It's about trying to persuade people to vote for the yes campaign using taxpayers' money. Another example of Labor rigging the deck. There's big money involved, James. We've got that $10 million that I just mentioned there. We've got another $10 million for mental health for Aboriginal people in case they are upset while we all talk about the voice before the vote. There's $300 million for the Electoral Commission to run the referendum. There's $12 million to go to the National Indigenous Australians Agency, money for the Museum of Australian Democracy. Um, we saw from Bridget, Ar uh, Bridget Archer, Bridget to Mackenzie, the earlier in the show, head of a department wearing an activist T-shirt to talk to his staff. Clearly that's a signal that he supports the voice when he should be apolitical. How concerned are you about this money uh, being used inappropriately? I'm incredibly concerned because it's taxpayers' money. It's not Anthony Albanese's money. But Anthony Albanese knows the only way he can win this referendum is by gerrymandering it in the favour of the Yes campaign. Because most Australians, when they look at the question, will go, nah, we're all equal, we're going to vote no to this. So he needs to spend hundreds of billions of taxpayers' money trying to convince voters to support his referendum. This referendum actually is going to become all about saving Anthony Albanese's bottom rather than about trying to help our fellow Indigenous Australians get on with their lives. This is a waste of money and every cent that is being spent isn't my money or your money, Peters. It's the people watching this program and it is a national disgrace. Mm. What do you make of the, the fall in the, the polling from about uh, what, November, December last year? We saw a significant five-point drop in the latest Resolve poll. This is everyone on the polls, right? This is across the board we're seeing a slide. We've got this money coming out. We know that the Yes campaign have got upwards of $17 million in donations. So you and I know advertising, you know, does turn votes. Are you concerned that they're going to really now ramp it up because they're getting desperate? I am concerned that more taxpayers' money is going to be spent. I am concerned that the big end of town, because this 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 fight is between the big end of town, big business, big sport, uh, big egos, um, you know, the big end of town against uh, the small end of, of Australia. And the only way they can win, because it is a flawed argument, is by spending a gazillion dollars trying to befuddle the Australian voters to vote for something that is going to end up damaging Australia in in the long run. Uh, this voice should not be being put to the Australian people because it is going to divide us racially. And I'm more concerned about the unity of Australia than I am about Anthony Albanese's ego, which is what this referendum is becoming about. James McGrath, thank you.